This is Dow Houston, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. My videos address how to change your circumstances in life, whether they be financial, personal, social, or just life in general. I know there are hundreds, if not thousands, of similar sites. With that said, for better or worse, I just see the world differently than others, and I can tell you without any hesitancy that you will find thoughts, strategies, and ideas here you won't find anywhere else. It is my sincere hope you will find the content interesting and enjoyable. Thank you. Hey guys, Dal here this morning. Sound like a broken record, I know, but we had another beautiful rainy night in northwest Oklahoma in July. I don't know what the hell's going on. Uh, it's amazing, amazing. Uh, all the stories you think about uh, being dry in the plains is correct, except obviously for this year. So anyway, hey, jumping right into it. I made this a video based on the same subject the other day, and I just wasn't very happy with it. And I'm still probably gonna delete it, but I looked at it, I'm like, uh, but, but something happened yesterday that, 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 that I wanted to add to it. <coughs> and, and with that said, then I feel like I can really improve this video. <coughs> so you probably won't see the actual <laughs> original video. This is a remake. I've got my son, he is 17 years old. Uh, he's been on a horse ever since he's been one year old. But the horses he's been on, our horses obviously, especially when he was really young, were very, very gentle horses that I completely trusted. And normally in the summertime, I've tried to get him to, to help me do farm work and stuff. He had baseball going on and as soon as baseball was over he had a week or two of break and then he was back into uh, to early fall football and this year because of the virus he's got extra time on his hands. So I said you know son you need a job and I said I need somebody to ride some of my horses. Now you may be saying okay Dal great what the hell's this got to do with improving yourself? And, and, and the other day, uh, he was supposed to be riding horses, and he wasn't, and I got really angry at him. I said, get your butt out of bed and get, get to riding. We had a really, really rough time. So the next day I went with him, and I said, listen, this isn't about teaching you to break horses to ride. I said, I know you're not probably going to be a horse trainer, nor do I necessarily want you to be a horse trainer. But I said, this is important. I said, it is great practice working with horses and learning the lessons that a horse will teach you and using those lessons regarding your interactions with people. And in particular, this way. He had had, at that point in time, just trouble with one horse that got about halfway where he was going, and then it was just stop in the road, and he'd kick her, and she wouldn't go forward. And I told him, and he, he, he was frustrated with her. I said, listen, he, th that is the very good reason why. I said, horses like people will try you. Now, I'm not saying anything bad about people, nor am I saying anything bad about horses. They will just try you, and they know when they're dealing with someone they can take advantage of or disrespect in some way. And they will, generally speaking. And I said, so it's important that you learn that. And you learn it so strongly. Not so that you can be mean towards some other people, but that you can be strong and understand people are going to try to take advantage of you. How do you make them respect you? How do you exude that confidence in dealing with them to keep them from ever going down that road? So anyway kind of understood it. Yesterday, I'm at the office, he calls me all shook up because he had one of my best horses uh, that I absolutely had never given me any problem try to run away with him. Uh, she had run about half a mile and uh, had run off with him. And he was scared he couldn't get her stopped and everything else. And I said, even more of an example first the first horse that balked with him in the road had never given me any problem regarding that either you know she knew better 
I wasn't going to put up with it. And the way I wrote her, she just never had the opportunity, nor even I don't think in her mind. And apparently this horse is the same way, because she's certainly never, of all the horses I got, she would probably be the low end of the spectrum and say, this horse will run off with you. But she knew she could. And so I told him, I said, see, this is so important that, that, that horses are like people. They're going to try you. They, they can sense when they are in control or you are in control. And I said, this is a great, just like practicing football, practicing baseball, this is great practice for the world. Because I'll be honest, I would suspect 99% of, of the population doesn't practice relationships with others or interactions with others. I don't know, relationship sounds like a boyfriend, girlfriend, husband type deal. And it's not. Uh, interactions with people. And we talked, had dinner last night, and we were talking, just him and I, and something came up and he said, well, this other horse I'm riding, boy, he gets awfully, awfully flighty wanting to come back and he prances and kind of in the road and what have you. And I said, you know, that, that is his thing. And I said, they can sense everything you are thinking. So I said, if you're a little tense, you're a little anxious, they sense it and that comes out in their behavior. Same thing with people. We have, we have, and you have, and all the people we deal with have an innate sense in them. When we are dealing with someone, who's in charge of this conversation? Am I in charge? Are they in charge? How far can I push them? How far can I push their buttons? And again, that sounds very negative. I don't mean it to sound negative, but that's just the way it is. When you can learn a quiet confidence, I don't mean a loud confidence, a loud bullying, I'm not talking about that, but a, a quiet confidence with people, you can have that diplomatic air to you that you're not just offending people for the fun of it, but offending people because accidentally. At the same token though, you are exuding that confidence that I'm still in charge, or at least this is a mutual conversation. It's not a one-sided conversation where I am the lackey in the situation. And don't try bullshit with me, okay? As an attorney, I have people try bullshit with me all the time. And I could just cuss them out. I could say, don't pull that shit with me. And occasionally I have to. But normally, just by being quietly confident, it never happens. Same thing in relationships with others. Say a boyfriend-girlfriend relationship. When somebody senses the other side is weak. Unfortunately, human behavior normally lets the, the stronger of the two personalities, confident of the personalities, control that. And unfortunately, many times, take advantage of that also. But when you're quietly confident, you don't necessarily um, forcing your way into the conversation forcing your opinions, forcing your way of thought onto the other person, but you are still communicating to them, don't play bullshit with me, I am a strong person. So anyway, I think my son is beginning to understand it a little bit more. This video is a hell of a lot better than the video I did the other day. I just, I, I, I was, I just was really struggling to put my finger on what I wanted to say. And so this is this is so much clearer because we, he, he, my son now has a little bit more experience, even with with things that 
honestly, I would have never, never in my wildest dreams suspected that horse would have tried to run off with him, and yet it did. Same thing holds true with people. Some of the people that you least expect would try to take advantage of you will if they truly think they can. And if they don't think they can get by with it, they will never even try and put you in that awkward situation. So guys, hope you under, I hope you appreciate or understand it, appreciate it, uh, get something from it. Talk to you later. We'll see you.